Uh, Dr. Land, we appreciate your time on Newsmax Prime. Yes, sir. Glad to be with you. I wish you could be under happier circumstances. I do, too. Let me just put the question to you squarely. Is religious freedom at risk? Absolutely. Absolutely, unquestionably, and unequivocally. Uh, in 1940, Winston Churchill said that the Battle of France was over and the Battle of Britain was about to begin. Well, unless we have a spiritual awakening in America, the battle for traditional marriage is over and the battle for religious freedom has begun. And that statement sounds very similar to a, a document, a letter I believe you signed along with 99 other Christian leaders dissenting from the Supreme Court decision. Tell us about your action taken today. Well, we just made it very clear as uh, evangelical Christian leaders that we dissent from this decision, and um, these are basic core principles of the Christian faith. And I know it's difficult for uh, liberals to understand this, but we have convictions, and convictions can't be coerced, and they can't be intimidated, and they can't be threatened. We're going to speak the truth in love. Just because five lawyers say that same-sex marriage is legal, that doesn't make it moral, and that doesn't make it right. Uh, Dr. Land, some pastors have gone on record saying they would rather go to jail than perform a same-sex marriage. Do you think it could come to that? It could, but I think there'll be some intermediate steps first. Um, they will come after the tax-exempt status of traditional churches that refuse to compromise their beliefs on, on uh, same-sex marriage. They'll come after the accreditation of Christian colleges that uh, do not allow uh, same-sex couples to live together and to engage in homosexual activity. Uh, they will um, uh, come after student loans. I mean, you know, with one fell swoop of the pen, the President of the United States, by an executive order, could say, we will not allow any federally guaranteed student loans to be used at any college that in any way, shape, or form discriminates against homosexuals. And uh, that would put a lot of Christian colleges out of business almost immediately.